Kansas City is getting down to business starting tomorrow. If you operate a short-term rental that isn't registered with the city, you face penalties. That includes not being able to advertise online and possibly thousands of dollars in fines. Fox 4 Shannon Russo live tonight in the Northland as the clock's ticking down. Shannon? And Lauren, some people prefer short term rentals over hotels and for them that may be because they get a lot more space to move around in an area that feels a lot like home. But some neighborhoods in Kansas City are very much against short term rentals and say they are glad the city is now changing its tactics to address them. Scrolling through Airbnb, hundreds of listings pop up for Kansas City. The question is how many of these will be kicked off the site starting tomorrow? We're uh, sending lists of the properties that are not registered to the booking platform so that they can delist them from their, red, from their websites. Forrest Decker, who works for the city, says at any given time there's upwards of 2,000 short-term rentals listed, but right now only 30% of those are registered with Kansas City. About half of those registered after a new ordinance took effect June 15th, which requires hosts to register their short-term rental with the city and pay an annual $200 registration fee, among other things. The last three months have been an unofficial grace period, but that ends tomorrow. Hosts will have to provide a registration code from the city in order to advertise on sites like Airbnb and Verbo. If they continue operating without that, it'll be a hefty fine. They can be fined up to $1,000 per instance. So, if, for example, if somebody's renting a place out for five days, they can be fined up to $1,000 for each of those five days. It's a step in the right direction for those who've worked tirelessly to get this ordinance passed. We have slowly started to see a change for the better, um, and, and so we're optimistic. Laura Burkhalter lives near the Nelson Atkins Museum, which she says has seen many homes snapped up by out-of-towners who convert them into short-term rentals. It just really degrades the community that we have. Um, and it takes up available housing for people who want to live and work um, in Kansas City. With the clock ticking, she says she's already noticed a difference in the last three months, with some former short-term rentals popping back up on the market as long-term rentals. And right now, the city will review this ordinance in the spring to see if any changes need to be made to it. In the meantime, they're asking people if they see or know of a short term rental that is unregistered to report it by using 311 in the Northland Shannon Russo Fox 4 News.